Hi Capricorn, this is your weekly reading, <clears throat> general reading for the 15th to the 21st of May uh, 2023. So we'll be going into Gemini at the end of this week and on the 15th Mercury will go direct. But remember there will be a tail end to Mercury until the end of the month. So do keep an eye out or keep an eye on mechanical things and uh, electrical things and also signing documents. Forewarned is forearmed. You come in with a judgment card as the overall card. This means there is a new beginning or a second chance. There is a stronger version of you uh, right here, right now, as you are rising from the ashes. Like the phoenix rising from the ashes, there could also be a reconciliation this can be with a person, but this can also be that you're getting a second chance to go back to an old um, firm or an old place of work. But this could also be that you could be making up in friendship or in romance. This can also be a partnership. You might have done a project with somebody in the past and you could be reuniting and starting another project together. There is definitely a, um, a, a feeling, a mutual feeling of wanting to reconcile. Also, um, definitely uh, there will be, it feels like um, the Archangel Gabriel has blown a new fresh energy into you and perhaps an other person. The moon, this the, in the beginning of the week, means that there are things that you might not know, so secrets could be revealed which could cause um, a communication with another person that comes in and tells you and explains to you what happened and why it happened. Also, you are in the spotlight because the moon, the star, the sun are the spotlights in the tarot. So you do have recognition. This could be in a, a, a good influence if you are applying for a job, for instance, you might be standing out from the crowd because of your independence and your strength you are somehow stronger than before and you feel positive about it the moon also represents cancer or um, pisces so you might be dealing with empathic people intu and intuitive people or spiritual people or you could be me meeting one of the water signs make sure that you do the research um, with regarding to a situation or with a question remember it's still mercury retrograde so be careful signing official papers you also have the ace of coins there is an opportunity coming in um, or there could be an offer coming in and um, as this is a new beginning something that's tangible durable and for long term you could be meeting uh, a Taurus or uh, there could be a prominent Taurus around you or an other Capricorn or a Virgo also um, this means that uh, there could be an, a friendship turning into a relationship or a relationship turning into a long-term relationship so be aware of what is happening around you not just in front of you also, there's the Three of Cups. There will be celebrations in one way or another. If you're getting that job, you'll be celebrating. If you're passing exams, even if it's a driving license exam, you will be celebrating. Also, you have the Eight of Blades. Eight is the House of Money and the House of Power. So this is definitely confirming that there could be new finances coming in for long term. This could be a return on an investment that you made, whether it is monetarily, materially or uh, spiritually or physically. So, like I said, there could be a long-term relationship started, starting. This can also uh, make you feel that you... you sorry, no. This may, might uh, seem impossible because the Eight of um, Swords means that you're stuck in your head you might not be able to see it because usually uh, you are so if you have this card you're stuck in your head you feel imprisoned uh, you feel desperate to go out but 
come out of your mind and reset your mind think of times that were positive that will set reset your energy and your mentality know that you are in your power and that you are a stronger version of yourself you will be impressing people definitely because you've got the recognition card here but definitely it, it might make you even feel better um, and not stuck anymore when secrets are revealed so definitely you know uh, what kind, type of secret can be revealed You're, there's so many uh, different facets of life and situations uh, that you are the only one that knows what it applies to if it resonates take from the reading what resonates with you okay my darlings but definitely money, strength and you, and those are the qualities, strength and patience, uh, tenacity and determination to get what you want. And you will, because you will be celebrating. So don't worry too much. From the uh, Oracle deck, uh, Archangel Metatron, you've got number 55, which is an angel number. Five means a big major changes and you're halfway there. Definitely have a look on in Google or on Google what 55 angel number represents. Earth yourself, you've got the color red here, and safety, strength, and power. So this is also explaining that you are in your power with the number 8 and with the judgment card. So it's quite apt that the and these cards are, and this card is telling what is happening in the general reading actually it is a form of another form of confirmation to you that you are strong enough to, to handle anything surrender to the idea you can fix someone this is from the surrender deck it is time for a relationship to shift it doesn't work to try to fix someone each person must be accountable for his or her own healing so like I said somebody could be coming back and uh, you might be finding out secrets which will help you to uh, f don't feel stuck um, or guilty about the past relationship or friendship so definitely it will help you to heal as well once you know why definitely let everybody take their own responsibility you don't have to um, be feel guilty about anything once a friendship or a relationship is finished it is um, it means that you have outgrown each other perhaps you might have advanced and they st stayed behind but now they realize that once they haven't got you and um, they miss you but you can't um, feel guilty about it they have to um, come to terms that they should of grown with you and you should have talked it out they might have not wanted to talk out about it or change so definitely you have changed you are a stronger version of yourself so don't worry take care stay safe and now i'm going to the extended thank you